Welcome back. So, you know, that new word that you just heard on social media is probably connected to something black Americans have been saying for generations. Brooke Thomas is here with the story of two authors who have written a history of this language. Hello. You know, Melvin, were we all really raised by the same parents? <laughs> this is, it is, it's a common joke that many Americans, though, of the same cultures make with each other, right? When we think back about the things our parents and grandparents said to us. Black Americans, though, we're not a monolith, and that's important to state always, but we do still have many things in common. Our language, how we speak, what we say, that is often a big one. The devil is a lie. Hey, one of your little friends. Who all gonna be there? Authors Jarrett Hill and Travell Anderson call their book, Historically Black Phrases, a love letter to the black community. We all went our various different ways through the Great Migration, but one of the things that connects us is how something that they'll say in the Bay Area, where Jared is from, is very connected to how we would say it in the South. It just sounds a little different. <laughs> you know what I mean? The two tell me they wanted to look at the ways black culture drives um, culture at large through language. The book became a dictionary of sorts, a way to look at what these phrases mean, their origins. Do interviews in the book with like 12 different people, um, and one of them is with Dr. Ann H. Charity Hudley. She's a Stanford linguist, and we dive into kind of the, the history that's associated with the structure that is how black people talk. And that structure is not just about words. Body language comes into play, too. Case in point. Kids don't say that. You know, the look that your mother gives you, that she don't have to say nothing, right? And I think one of the things for us was really about, like, we wanted to talk about how important and valid and, and legitimate our way of speaking while also doing it in a way that's, like, approachable. This book also touches on the progression and expansion of language because some phrases are just new. The underlying context is always there and comes from the same place, but... The kids aren't really talking like our grandparents did. I'm sure you've heard them say, no cap. It means no lie, but what? I have decided cap is just gonna be one of the ones I ain't gonna ever get. Yeah. Right, and I'm, and I'm actually resistant to it at this point, right? Like I can't use it, I'm not using it right. If I do try and use it, I feel like the old man trying to use young language, yeah. right? And so like, that's actually one of the fun things about language is watching it evolve and change. Code switching is a topic in these pages too. You know, changing how you speak, usually at work or school, is an act of self-protection. It starts young. Noticing when I get to school, like, oh, people aren't talking this way. People don't use this word this way. People don't pronounce things this way. We're kind of like really an analyzing the ways that we use our language and change it up and use it differently and, and whether how we feel about that, right, if it's a good thing or not. While the way we all speak is an act of self-expression, an identity marker, the stigma towards some cultures can cause real harm. In so many ways, our language as black folks is often, you know, delegitimized and not taught as being serious, but the reality is we grow up with our own ways of moving through the world that sometimes, right, are very different than other people's. Nearly 300 pages of interviews, education, examples, and pop culture moments culminating in a book that is overall just a good time. It takes you down memory lane. It's a lot of fun. It brings up all of those memories, the good ones and some of the bad ones, of you just growing up, right, and talking the ways that we talk. Yeah, the good ones, the bad ones, I think everyone has the feeling it's of heat when you think of your mama turning around, you're in the car, you ask, can we go to McDonald's? And she says, do you have McDonald's money? <laughs> and you just want to just, no, I don't. You know I don't. Do you know what I mean? Or also the feeling when, you know, she calls and she says, did you take the chicken out? You know, you didn't. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm also combing through here real quick, and I love this. Now, mind you, it makes me think of my grandma. grandma. My grandma should, now, mind you. I feel like or, Shirley would say that or, a lot. Uh, you tell it, you telling me? That's what she would There's say. There's some good ones in there. It's so One good. There's like how many ways we use to start a conversation. We're about to tell a story. Okay, so boom. You're right. Or now, mind you, my favorite is I ain't going to hold you, even though I am absolutely going to hold you. Completely. We are yes. going to be on the phone for another 30 minutes. But that look that that guy was talking about, that's universal. It is. Yeah. Right? You Stop, you dead in your tracks. And you stop. <laughs> I, I have chills just like just I, and the best look this is boo boo the fool 
What do you think I'm Boo Boo the Fool? That's okay. a, right, or don't be Boo Boo the Fool. Don't be Boo Boo the Fool. <laughs> okay, I need a translation on what that one. Like, what is that? like, don't be. <laughs> this is not my first day on earth. Yeah, like, you like don't. Uh, me. You know what I mean? Like, okay. act like you what have sense. What do I look like? Yeah. Yep. Act like you have sense. Don't mm -hmm. go misrepresenting your family. Mm -hmm. You know, don't act like Boo Boo the Fool, and don't be walking down the street because you know if you go around <laughs> certain people, you got Boo Boo and Cuckoo. Everybody, don't <laughs> gather with them. My, my people would say. <laughs> Jim is good with this, okay? But Melvin is, is making a compound sentence there, yeah, okay? He, he yes, yeah, now you're talking about cuckoo. Six, I'm like, I don't in there, okay? <laughs> but you, but She's like, wait, I was following you. But. It's true. Oh, my gosh. This is great. Yeah, yeah. This is amazing. So many Thank of them you. don't I'm have to become universal, though. Do you know what I mean? And it's... Um, right. Won't he do it? It's fun. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? <laughs> won't he do it? That's his, that's his, show it's, up and show out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. this is amazing. It? And I love Jared, too. I love Jared. They're great. I had a yeah. lot of fun just listening to them, just their excitement. You know, they wrote a book. Yes. You know, and I believe this is Travel's second book. Mm -hmm. This is, this it's, is great. It's, it's, they should be proud of this. It's Absolutely. Fun. It's a great it's fun. It is. gift. It's a great coffee table book. And it's a great book for everybody. It's fun to go through there <laughs> and see things that... You know, you're like, wait, I've heard that before. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's nice. It's like show up and show out. Translation, arrive and outperform expectations. That's what you two do every day. Mm. Oh, that's what out. you do every day. Yeah. I, I try. Love it. Show up I'll and try. show out. You Let's go. <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was awesome. Let's go. This. You can't have my book. I like okay, it. Don't okay. take me too hard. Can okay. I take Won't a look at that book? <laughs> Maria. Everyone's had some fun with that, but I, I definitely want to see it. I'm so interested in that. That is so much fun. I had no idea. Even no cap, which we hear I all hear the time. I hear that all the time. All now. the time. within so every culture, there's the a certain phrase. vernacular, right? And they're yeah, regional, oh, sure. too. That's, sure. that's the fun yeah. part. That's yeah. very, like, Atlanta kid, and it's yeah. become yeah. everywhere, yeah. So fun. Anyway, thank you, bro.